Good evening. God bless you. Good evening, teacher. God How bless are you. God bless you too. How are you doing? And I see Beatriz, Juan Carlos, Alejandra. Thank you very much. Okay, for being here. How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo le va? Is everything good? All right. A little right. bit. A little. Okay, a little bit. Un poquito. Victor, hello. Hello, hello. Well, guys, thank you very much for being in today's class. Eh, todavía es un poquito early. I hope um, el resto de compañeros también nos acompaña, right? Okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, Vilma, hello. How are you? Hello, Victor. Okay, I can see you there. Nice. Very good. Okay. Okay, guys. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, for um, for joining. All right. Uh, today we are going to start working with uh, section number four. Okay. And uh, we are going to check uh, some and any. Algunos creo que ya terminaron, all right, which is awesome. Felicidades, congratulations. Otros ya iban por la sección número cuatro, so you were in section number four. Otros creo que ya comenzaron la número cinco. So, very good job, okay, continuemos así. And if it is possible, eh, terminemos antes, right? Try to finish uh, the exercises before we finish classes. So, este tema, eh, ustedes ya lo manejan. You already, like, know how to use it. And uh, so, we are going to work today a little bit with this topic that is um, from uh, section number four, that is countable and uncountable nouns, all right? So, let's take a look at today's objective. I'm sorry, it's number 11. It says, by the end of the class, you will learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use expressions, some and any. All right? So, algunos ya vieron esta parte. So, it is going to be really easy. Hello, Mayra. I see also Mayra there. Gracias por unirse. Thank you very much. I see Miguel too. Thank you very much, guys. All right. This is the agenda that we have for today. So we are going to get started. Uh, we're going to get started with food vocabulary, okay? The pronunciation, how to say, uh, or how to call different type of food, all right? Then we are going to practice I like, I don't like, all right, for talking about food. We are going to practice uh, some and any, and we are going to complete some exercises, okay? So, uh, well, first of all, I think that some of you already completed this part. This is in section number four, okay? And let's take a look at the vocabulary we have there, okay? So we have, for example, cream, we have butter, we have oil, potato chips, and candy. Please, everybody, let's repeat. Repitamos. Repeat after me, please. Cream. Cream. Butter. Butter. Oil. Oil. Potato chips. Potato chip. Candy. Candy. Okay, very good. Now let's take a look at milk. We have here milk. Let's repeat it. Milk. 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 Yogurt. Yogurt. Cheese. Cheese. We have here fish. Fish. Beans. Beans. Chicken. Chicken. Nuts, nuts, eggs, eggs, and beef. Beef. Okay, beef, right? Very beef. good. So now, if we are talking about food, okay, from these three different categories we have here, all right, which one do you like? For example, I like candy, I like yogurt, I like, um, eggs, I like fish, and I like beans, okay? I really like them, okay? Realmente me gustan. But I don't like, for example, a beef, okay? 
and I don't like cream, all right? So what about you guys? Which are some of these uh, food that you like? Which ones do you like? So remember that we use I like and I don't like. So me gusta, no me gusta, right? I like. Uh, can you, um, yes, Juan Carlos? I like is cream. Okay, I like cream. Okay, that's all right. I like cream. Uh, Victor, hello, Victor. Hi there. How are you, Victor? Okay, nice. Let me just set this. Hi, thank you, teacher, and you? Okay, I'm great. Hi, thank thank you, you for you. asking. I'm great as well. Okay, Victor, so tell me, um, which is which of this type of food do you like? Do you like eggs? I like, I like, I like, um, Um, all. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you like everything orange, here. Okay. Orange. Ah, okay. I like Do you like pasta? Do you like yes. it? Yes, all right. Yes, you do. Do you like, um? let me see, mangoes. Do you like mangoes? Mangoes. I like. Yes, okay, mm. thank you, thank you, Victor. Okay, so Victor says that he likes all these type of food. Okay, let me try to find somebody who doesn't like it. Hello, Ale, how are you? Hello, 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 hello. Ale. Oh, I think that we have some technical problems there. Okay, so let me find another uh, volunteer. Nancy, hello, Nancy, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, that's really good to hear. Okay, Nancy, tell me, so from this food, is there anything that you don't like? Is there anything you don't like? Uh... Algo que no le guste, right? For example, I don't like broccoli. Um, broccoli. So, hay algo de acá que no le gusta? We can say, I don't like... Broccoli. Oh, you don't like broccoli. Okay, okay, good. What about lettuce? Yeah. Do you like lettuce? ¿Le gusta la lechuga? Do you like lettuce? I like. Ah, okay, so you do. You like lettuce. Bread? Do you like bread? Yes, I like. Okay, okay, excellent. All right, so I you like it, right? Okay, thank you very much. Let me see uh, if I have another person. Well, I see more people here. Excellent. I see Mr. Pineda. I see Sylvia. Um, Bill Mavane. All right, good to see you guys. I see Alejandra as well. Alejandra, thank you very much, Alejandra. How are you? Fine teacher okay perfect okay alejandra tell me uh which which of this food do you like um i like um candy oh okay very good so you like candy what else um i like yogurt oh okay yogurt candy very good okay thank you very much alejandra all right Okay. okay, guys, so let's remember this. If I want to say me gusta, I can simply say I like, all right? So me gusta, let me just scroll down a little bit. Okay, so I like, for example, cereal and, uh, and pasta, right? And that is great. Uh, I can also use, or I can also say I don't like. For example, broccoli, all right? I don't like broccoli. What happens if I want to talk about another person? For example, I want to, um, let me see. I want to tell you, for example, something about Alejandra, all right? So Alejandra, let's, Alejandra, all right? 
capital letter here. So Alejandra, remember that we are going to use third person like. singular. Exactly, Alejandra likes. So I can say I like, but if it is Alejandra, I am going to use third person a conjugation, right? So let me make this a little bit bigger, all right? So I can say Alejandra likes, a ella le gusta. And I say the rest, okay? For example, guys, what does Alejandra like? ¿Qué le gusta? Candy. What does Alejandra like? I'm sorry. Candy. Uh, candy. Oh, thank you, Vane. Yeah, okay, thank you. So Alejandra likes candy. Perfect. Yes, was all right? If I want to say something that Alejandra doesn't like, well, I can say Alejandra. I don't say don't, right? I say doesn't. Doesn't, exactly, Alejandra doesn't. And let's remember this. Whenever we have doesn't, we are now going to change the verb, okay? So no S right here, okay? So Alejandra doesn't like. Let's go back to Alejandra. Hi, Alejandra, coming back to you. Let me see. Hi, you... teacher. All right. So tell me, Alejandra, um, what is something that you don't like? Uh, I don't like um, carrots. And... Ah, okay. Really? You don't like carrots? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Alejandra doesn't like carrots. Only carrots. Um, yes, only, only carrots. Only carrots. Okay. Okay. That's just fine. Okay. There are a lot of things that I don't like. Believe me. Okay. Good. Okay, everybody. So, any question before we go uh, for the practice section? Is there any question, guys? Alguna preguntita? Do you have any question? Or if you have any question, uh, Remember, we have a chat section too, all right? So, podemos escribir las preguntas over there. So, everybody, right now, we are going to get, we are going to make some groups, okay? And we are going to practice speaking or talking about the things that you like, the things that you don't like. If it is possible, you can also talk about your family, all right? Like my brother likes, my sister likes. My mother likes, my brother likes, my baby likes. So we can also include a third person and we can practice, all right? So we are going to make groups right now. Just a minute. Okay, very good. There we go. So let's practice, guys. Hello, Miguel. Miguel, Beatriz, I also see Vane, and I see Alcatel Pixi. Todavía no hemos entrado. Uh, Miguel, do you need any help? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Alcatel Pixi, hello. Hello, hello. Ale, eh, what do you like? What do you like? What do you like? I like. All vegetables, and I don't like chicken and beef. In the question, what did you like? 
Juan Carlos. Eh, uh, I like it. Hey, Vilma, hello. Vilma, are you alone here? Hola, teacher, quedé sola. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, allow me just a second. Uh, I'm going to okay. switch you up, all right? I'm sorry. Yeah, the other person <laughs> is not in the group. Okay, okay, there we go. Maya, gracias. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't I don't I no. Well, it wasn't me. Oh, okay. sorry. <laughs> but excellent. Very good job. <laughs> well, actually, I am a listener. Okay. So, but very good job. Thank you, guys. That is the idea. So, help each other, guys. Yeah. So, help each other. Okay. Continue, guys. Continue. I don't like you. I don't like it. I don't. Uh, oh, uh, my daughter. I don't like. I don't like this. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Beatriz. Uh, that would be my daughter doesn't like, or my daughter likes, porque sería ella, right? So my daughter my likes. Daughter? My daughter doesn't like thank you okay you're welcome uh, my daughter doesn't like this perfect that's all right my daughter and my mother Okay, so she likes everything. Okay, guys, very good, very nice job. So continue practicing, uh, Mr. Pineda, Vane, so continue practicing, all right? Uh, okay. Voy a ir a visitar a los otros grupos. Okay, I'll be with you in a couple of seconds. So continue, guys. Vane. Hola. No, pero así está. Así es lo mismo. Teacher. Hello. Uh, what do you like? Uh, well... <laughs> Talking about food, that is a difficult question. Okay. Puedo preguntar, puedo preguntar, perdón, puedo preguntar, do you like fish, digamos? Of course. But do you like fish? Y yo voy a responder, yes, I do, yes. or yes, I like. ¿Cuál de las dos? We answer, yes, I do, but also you can give or you can tell me long answers. You can tell me, I'm sorry, I am going to, okay, so I can tell you, yes, I do, or I can tell you, yes, I like fish, long answers, okay, for example, do you like onions, okay, yes, I do, or yes, I like onions, so, Ali, do you like onions? Yes, I like onions. Perfect. Oh, no. That's okay. Yeah, no, that's all right. That's okay. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. I think Miguel but, had a question. No es cierto. Oh, okay. So, no, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. Or, no, I don't like onions. No, pero mi, pre pero mi pregunta es, si yo digo, do you like a pizza, digamos, vea? O do, do you, you like, like pizza? pizza? Oh, pizza. yes, I do. Respond, yes, I do. Yes, or I yes, do. I like pizza. Exactly, exactly. Both are uh, correct. De las dos maneras. Both yeah. are Gracias. correct. Gracias. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Miguel, I'm sorry, did you have another question? Sí, Any solo una. Tal, sí, es, cuando uno dice, yes, I like, hay que agregarle la, hay, termi, hay que terminar la oración. Yeah, para because. Poner, uh, oh, oh, I, oh, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, because yes, remember. Yes, I like a pizza. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. We have short answers. Yes, I do. No, I don't. And that's it. 
but una respuesta larga lleva todo, right? Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Yes, I like pizza. Yes, I like pizza. it, right? Or even, podemos decir, yes, I like it. Me gusta. And that's okay. That's fine, Perfect. right? So, continue, guys. Continue I practicing. Like okay. okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. What do you like? Thank what you, do teacher. you like, yeah. Excuse me. What do you like? I like pizza, I like hamburgers, and I like cake. Okay. What do you like, eh, Miguel? I, eh, Miguel? Uh, I like potato chip, I like pasta, I like banana, I don't like beef. Very good. That is excellent, guys. Okay, one more minute. Continue practicing. Also, ask some questions uh, to Mayra, right? So ask some questions for her, okay? Okay, <laughs> okay guys. Voy a visitar el otro grupo. Ya nos vemos en un segundo, okay? Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I like meal. Um, I like uh, strawberries. I like cereal. Cereal, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Cereal. Oh, sí. Cereal. cereal. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't like. Carrots. Carrot. 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 Yeah, currants. Okay. Um, I I don't like beef. 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 Okay. Beef. Okay. Very I good, Vilma. That's nice, Victor. <laughs> I don't like um, pizza chicken. I don't like. Victor, let me ask you some questions, okay? I don't like broccoli. Broccoli. Ah, okay, broccoli. I don't like broccoli. Um, teacher, uh, what is the um, potato chips? Potato chips? Ah. Yeah. Do you like potato chips? Como las snacks. Las, las snacks, all right? Like when you buy papitas, Diana, for example, or papitas, lace, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, but chips, okay, chips. I uh -huh. like them. Do you like them? Le gustan, do you like them? Yes, I like. Okay, yes, uh, okay, 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 very good. Solo recordemos, yes, I do, all right? O si no, respuestas largas. Yes, I like yes, them, I like. okay? Nice. Nancy, hello, Nancy. Hello, hello. Ah, no había escuchado Nancy, all right. Nice. <laughs> so, Nancy, let me, uh, well, I will ask you some questions. Nancy, do you like ice cream? Uh, yes, I, I do. Do like. Oh, yes, I like it. Okay, nice. No. Do you like pupusas, Nancy? Yes, yes. Yes, I really like pupusas. I really like pupusas. Okay, uh, let me see. Victor, do you like uh, soda? Soda, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. Do you like soda? Uh. Yes, yes, I like the soda. Okay, very nice. Vilma, do you like uh, tomatoes? Mm, yes, I do, teacher. Perfect, that's all right. <laughs> Excellent, guys. Very nice practice, okay? So continue practicing, guys. In 30 seconds, eh, volvemos, right? We will go back to the main eh, session, all right? So, okay. Nice, okay. very good job. Thank you. Pick my name. <laughs> do you like? Do you like the orange? Yes, I like orange and juice. <laughs> <laughs> do you like? 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 Do
En yus. En yus. En tú. En tú. En yus. Oh, Victor, like. you like it too. Okay. So we can say, yeah. I like it too. Me gusta también. I like it too. Uh, I like, okay, thank you. I like it. Uh -huh. I like it too. Okay, guys, so please, unámonos a la sesión. Let's join it. Hello, hello. Okay, hello, hello. excellent. I see that a lot of people are coming back. Okay, guys, so that was a really good practice. I listened uh, to most of you practicing. That was great. Uh, okay, so I think that we are missing some people. Okay, let's continue with, uh, oh, by the way, antes de seguir, do you have an equation? Equations? No. Ah, okay, no equations. All right, perfect, so let's continue. We are going to practice a little conversation that we have right here, okay? So let's take a look. Let's take a look at this conversation and we have two people talking. So please, guys, repeat after me. Do you have any coffee? Do you have any coffee? Do you have any coffee? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. But I have some tea. But I have some tea. Do you want some? Do you want some? Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Do you want a cookie too? Do you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie too? Sure. 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 I love sure. cookies. I love, I love cookies. cookies. Okay, Ali loves cookies. Great. Okay. Oh, <laughs> who said that? Okay. Okay. Exit. Now Nancy did. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. Do you like any coffee? Do you have any coffee? The answer is no, I don't. Uh, somebody was asking this question, and I think it is really important. Puedo responder con no, I don't have. It is possible, but normally we say uh, or we answer uh, with subject, verb, and complement, you know? So we can say, do you have any coffee? No, I don't. Do you like coffee? Yes, I do. Or podemos dar respuestas completas. Yes, I like coffee, right? So let's take a look. Uh, first of all, do you have any coffee? In the previous class, revisamos el significado de any, all right? Any, lo utilizo en preguntas. I use these equations, all right? Do you have any coffee? Tienes un poco de café, all right? And the person says, no, I don't, but I have some tea. I have some tea. Tengo un poco de té, all right? I have some tea. Do you want some? Let's take a look at the equation. Te gustaría un poco. Do you want some? Yes, please, the person says. And then this person asks a question. Do you want, do do you you want, want a cookie? Exactly. Le pregunta una, right? A cookie. And the person says, yes, I love cookies. Uh, Nancy, I think, said before, I like pupusas, okay? So let's take a look at the difference between any and some, all right? For this, I am going to show a presentation that I have over here. Okay. And well, to study this topic, it is important uh, to make the difference between countable and uncountable nouns, all right? And uh, let's take a look at this. In English, we can count some things, all right? Or in general, podemos pluralizarlas. You can pluralize them. For example, there are some things we cannot count as water and milk, all right? Los líquidos no se pueden contar. So we don't say waters or milks. Uh -uh, that is not possible. So we have water, milk. Can you um, give me some examples, please? 
¿Qué más sería un líquido? Water, milk. Yogurt. Yogurt. Orange. Orange. Okay. Orange juice. Very good. Uh -huh. Soda. Okay. Soda. Soda. Exactly. So they are going Green uncountable. Tea. I'm sorry. Ah, no. Green tea. Green oh, tea. tea. Exactly. Exactly. Tea. So we cannot count them. All right. So. Les llamamos uncountable words, all right? So we have to be careful with them. Ya vamos a ver la importancia. For example, let's take a look at this one. We have a tomato, okay? We have an onion. Can I say two tomatoes? ¿Puedo decir dos? Can I say two tomatoes? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes all right. So, because I can say one, two, three, four, etc. Les llamo countable nouns, okay? Onion, I can say an onion, two onions, you know, so we call it also countable nouns, porque los puedo pluralizar, all right? So for countable nouns, in plural, and for uncountable nouns, we use some. Para ambos voy a utilizar some, okay? So some means algunos, no importa si es countable or uncountable. Let's take a look at this. This is really important. We generally use some in affirmative sentences. So when you have affirmative ones, we are going to use some, okay? Let's take a look at this. We have rice and we have milk. They are uncountable. So I can say there is some rice, hay un poco de arroz, there is some rice, and there is some milk. Hay un poco de leche, all right? Allow me just... Allow me just a second here. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm going to uh, mute your microphones, okay? And if you uh, have any question or would like to um, add a comment, please raise your hand. Okay, there we go. So we have some when we are talking about uncountable or countable, no hay problema. It is fine, you can use both. Now, any. We use any in negative sentences and interrogative sentences. We use any for questions, for uncountable nouns in plural and uncountable nouns in singular. Remember, uncountable nouns no tienen plural, okay? Water, there is no plural. Milk, there is no plural. Coffee doesn't have a plural form. So, uncountable nouns siempre son singulares, all right? So, let's take a look at a couple of examples here. Do you need any chocolate, all right? Do you need any chocolate? And the person says, no, we don't need any. No necesitamos nada. So, let's take a look at this one more time. Any lo uso para questions. Do you need any chocolate? Y any lo uso para negativas, all right? We don't need any, no necesitamos ninguno, all right? Let's take a look at this one. Um, sometimes we can use some in interrogative sentences, but lo más común sería any, right? Um, let me just, let's check some examples. Take a look at this one. Can I have some apples, all right? Podría tener un par de manzanas. Can I have some apples? Remember that some, lo uso para ambos. Countable or uncountable. So, can I have some apples? Take a look at this one. Would you like some coffee? Le gustaría un poquito. Normalmente como fresco, lo hago utilizando some. Would you like some coffee? What about coffee? Is this singular or plural? Coffee? Is it countable or uncountable? No. ¿Cuál sería? Sí. Singular. And countable, exactly, singular. So no podemos pluralizarlo, all right? We cannot pluralize it. Now let's take a look at this. It says, look at the following pictures and do you remember the names? Vamos a ver si las recordamos. And we are going to try to classify them. Take a look at this. Countable or uncountable? ¿Puedo pluralizar banana? Can I say bananas? Countable. Yes. yes, all right? So it is countable. Si sí puedo pluralizarlo. 
uh, and we have some bananas or four bananas, okay? Some, remember, some lo uso para ambos. There's no problem. Next, what is this? What is the name? Coffee. 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 Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Very good. But because it is uncountable, va a estar siempre en singular. All right? No va a tener una S here. Se le corta la llamada, teacher. Oh, really? No. No. Okay. No. No. Can you? Can you? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Se le corta la llamada, teacher. Se le corta la Maybe, uh, well, maybe it's the connection, uh, but I can hear you well. Chicos, me escuchan. Can you hear me? Sí. sí. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, that's just fine. Quizás es la conexión, Juan Carlos. Maybe it's the connection, right? Okay, let's take a look at this. We have coffee, right? So, we have some coffee. I was saying, no lo pluralizamos. We don't say uh, coffees, okay? Only some coffee. What is the name of these things? They are? Cantable. Cantable, very good. And they are called, ¿cómo se llaman? What is the name? Eh. Eggs. So we have some eggs. Un par de huevos, some eggs, algunos, or one, two, three, four, and then the plural here, eggs. So S indica plural, right? Now let's take a look at this. What is this? Uncountable. Uncountable, exactly. What is the name? Milk. Milk. All right. ¿Cómo Amir. digo, uh, right. ¿Cómo digo algo de leche? How can I say un poco de leche? Some milk. Ay, very good. Some milk. A pesar que no es contable, yo sí puedo utilizar some con ambos. Okay. Countable and uncountable. ¿Estamos bien? Are we okay? Preguntas? Do you have any question or are we fine? Are we good? We're fine. Okay, excellent. So if we are good, we are going to complete just some exercises right here. Um, here in this little, in this little spot. Allow me just a second. Okay. In this little spot, we have a little explanation of any, all right? And for example, we have that any is used in questions, okay? Any X para contables, any bread para non-countable or uncountable, all right? So se usan para ambos. Next one, we have some. Some is para ambos, countable in uncountable, all right? Solo recordemos esto. Some, we use it in positive sentences. Any, we use it in questions, and we use it in negative sentences. We don't need any bread. We don't need any eggs. So any negative in questions, some in positive, okay? Now, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this uh, exercise we have right here, okay? And we are going to use some or we are going to use any, all right? So, let me make this. Okay, there we go. So I will give you one minute, okay? And let's try to, let's try to complete the sentences using some or any. Can you see my screen? Logran ver mi pantalla. Can you see that? Yes. Yes. Teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect.
Okay, if you pay attention to number three, the, it, this one says, we haven't got, okay? It's like, no tenemos, we don't have, okay? So just remember, it is a negative sentence, okay? So, tenemos que tener en cuenta eso. We, you have to take it into account. No se escucha, teacher. Hello, can you hear me? No se escucha, se oye mucha interferencia. Se le corta. I don't know if the others are having the same situation. Guys, ¿me logra escuchar? Uh, can you hear me? ¿Me logran escuchar? Ahora sí, teacher. Ahora sí se lo oye bien. Pero en día ah. había mucha interferencia. Oh, ok. Sí, yo igual. Yo escucho bien, teacher. Eh, no me escucha, Miguel. ¿Cómo no? Muy ah, bien. Ah, ok, ok. Yo okay. si no escucho bien, teacher. Um, se le oye bien cortado, con mucha interferencia. Ah, ok. Let me check the internet connection, ok. Puede repetir lo que vamos a hacer, teacher. Yes, Yo of course. Tampoco. Sure, no problem. Here, in this part, we have some examples, well, some exercises using some and using any, ok. So what you have to do is very easy. Choose some or any to complete these sentences. For example, we need some bananas or any bananas. What is the correct form? You cannot buy some posters or any posters. What is the correct answer? If we haven't got some oranges or any oranges, all right? So we are going to choose some or any to complete these five sentences, okay? <coughs> Hello, Miguel. Sí, el, el uso de some y any <coughs> son, eh, si no he entendido tan mal, es decir, some y any se, se usan para los términos singular o plural, ¿verdad? That is correct. <coughs> For, Depen um, Dependiendo de la oración que se esté haciendo, así se va a aplicar el, esos dos términos de any o some. Yeah, that is right. Normally, some and any lo usamos para ambos, for countable uh, and uncountable nouns. But si es countable noun, tiene que estar pluralizado, right? For example, uh, tomato. No puedo decir some tomato. I would use some tomatoes or some slices, okay? Algunas piezas, un pedacito de tomate, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's it. Gracias, teacher. No problem, that's fine.
Y si lo pongo, teacher, son Ed o Annie, Annie Mil. ¿Se puede? Uh, let me see in which part. Um, in which one, Ed? Juan Carlos? Sí. Eh, si yo le pregunto, ¿son Ed o Annie Mil? Some eggs or any milk. But uh, can you help me with the, the, the sentence? ¿Cómo sería? Which one? Eh, mucho huevo o pocos huevos o poca poca leche uh, más well, huevo y poca leche sure I can use some okay some significa algunos o algo de algunos right? huevos so yeah if y I say any, some eggs any, any meal yeah uh, let's remember this some normally is for positive sentences and any is for negative sentences so i'm going to uh, include here a parenthesis okay any means negative all right and also uh, any means question okay so some x all right this is positive any any is negative equation Are we a little better? So, for example, I want to use a X. Let's use the word X, okay? A song, a song app. For example, I can say I have some X, all right? So, because this is a positive sentence. Now let's take a look at this part. I have some X, okay, y no tengo. Si es negativa, if it is negative, entonces si podemos utilizar any, all right? And if it is equation, like for example, tienes un par de huevos, it would be possible to use any as well. But remember, some is for positive, any is for negative, and also for questions. So esa es la diferencia, okay? That is the difference. Do we have the, the answers here? I'm going to send this to the next uh, page. Okay. Do and we the have the answers? Uh, tell me, tell me. Teacher. Yes. Tell me, Ale. Hello. Bye. O sea que yo any lo voy a ocupar para una pregunta. Mm -hmm. That is right. Y para responder negativamente. That is correct. Para responder negativo. Y yeah. son para responder afirmativo. Some, right? Some to answer in a positive way. Like this one. I have some eggs. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Is that your question, Al? uh, Ale? Hola. Yes, yes. El son solo es para afirmativo o también para negativo. No, some is only for positive sentences. Uh, okay. Gracias. You're so welcome. O sea que puedo decir I am, I, I have uh, some eggs. I have some eggs. O I, I have am, some. I, I have any meal. I have some milk because it is positive. Some milk, some milk. Yes. No tiene que ser any. No, any is for negative sentences. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Thank you're you. welcome. Okay, guys, so take a look at number one. We need, necesitamos un, algunas bananas. We need, this is a positive sentence. Okay. So we need some or any. Uh, let me see. Vilma, what do you have in number one? We need... Hola? Yes, number one. Uh, do you have number one? Do you have the answer? Espérame que me levante y la tengo en el cuaderno. Ah, oh, okay. It's, it's fine. We need any. 
Okay, well, let's take a look at this one. It says we need, this is a positive sentence, okay? So, because it is positive, ¿cuál de los dos vamos a utilizar? Any? Mm, eh, we checked before, it, okay, that any, this one, is for a negative and also for equations, okay? Any is for negative equations. So, esta es una versión positiva. And for positive sentences, okay, we use some, right? Mm -hmm. So, coming back, it says here, we need, necesitamos un par de bananas. We need, okay, so we need, that would be some, right? We need some bananas, necesitamos algunas bananas. So, we are going to use some porque la oración es positiva, all right? Let me check the chat. Okay, uh, all right, let's take a look at number two. You can't buy, this sentence is negative, all right? So, in negative sentences, ¿qué usamos, some or any? Any. Any. Any, exactly. Any. Very good. So remember these negative sentences, we use any. Not This one says, you cannot buy any posters. Tú no puedes comprar ningún poster, okay? Ningún cartel en esta tienda. So you cannot buy any. Any means ninguno. So any is for negative sentences y también para preguntas. Negative equations, all right? Let's take a look at this one. Oh, we have this other one, okay? We haven't got. This sentence is negative. So because it is negative, ¿qué vamos a usar? What are we going to use? It is negative. So we use? Any. Any, one more time, okay? So negative sentences, we use any, right? Now let's take a look at this. Peter has bought. No tiene ningún not, all right? So como no tiene not, es una oración positiva. What do we use in positive sentences? Some. Some, perfect, thank you very much. So the answer is some. Peter has bought, Peter ha comprado algunos libros nuevos. Some new books. Now let's take a look at this. One more time, we have this one. She always takes, but if you pay attention to this part, no hay ningún not, all right? So la oración es positiva. This is a positive sentence. A menos que vean un not, right? So because it is a positive sentence, she always takes, ella toma algo de azúcar, un poco de azúcar. How do you say un poco de o algo de, all right? In positive sentences. ¿Qué necesitamos? What is missing? Some, some. or any. Some, exactly. So we are missing here. Some. So we have some for positive sentences, any for negative sentences, okay? Y nos faltan las preguntas, but for questions, lo más común sería utilizar any, all right? Uh, Mayra, uh, I saw one of your comments in the chat, all right? And uh, your question was when to use any. Right? Cuando usamos any. So this is the answer, Mayra. We use it in negative sentences and we use it in questions. Un poquito más claro? A little bit clearer? All right. Uh, what about the others? Questions? Hicieron así el ejercicio? Do you have the exercise like this? I can see Miguel has a question. Uh, tell me, Miguel. Uh, entonces quiere decir que si yo pido azúcar, I need, I need some sugar. Perfect, that's okay. I need some sugar, okay? Porque first es una oración positiva, all right? Okay. A menos que haga una pregunta o diga algo negativo, we use any, exactly. Okay. So that's Thank good. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Otra preguntita? Do you have any other question? Okay, uh, so let's take a look at this. Just to finish, we don't have examples of questions. So let me include one uh, question right here. Okay? For example, do you, 
Oh. Okay. Allow me just a second. Okay. So let's take a look at this. Do you have, for example, do you have, I'm going to leave some space here, brother or sister. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Do you have brother or sister? Okay. And we have the equation. What can I use? Some or any? This is equation. Any. Thank you very much, Mr. Pineda. So we have any. Do you have any brother or sister? Tienes algún hermano o hermana? All right. Do you have any brother or sister? So remember this. Any. We use it for negative sentences. Some positive sentences. Y el otro uso de any is in questions. Like this one. Is that okay? It's okay. Clear. Nice. I'm very happy to hear that. So I'm going to write just two more examples, okay? And, uh, well, exercises, let's say. And you can help me with this, okay? I don't... Okay. I don't have brother. And sisters. Okay, let's take a look at this too. Okay, let's take a look at this too. I don't have brother and I have sisters. What is missing yo, in yo these no, two yo no sentences? Tengo, yo no tengo ninguna hermana. Mm -hmm. y sí hermano, tengo hermano. Right. Sí, tengo un hermano. Okay. Oye, um, al revés, no sé si me equivoqué, pero dice, de, yo no tengo ningún hermano, okay. no que una hermana. Oh, okay, ¿verdad? okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's take a look at this. I don't have, no tengo ninguno. How can I say ningún hermano? I don't have. Y quiero enfatizarlo. No tengo ninguno. I don't have. This is a negative sentence. Uh, Vemos I el don't. not. Okay. Vemos el don't here. Vemos not. So I don't have. ¿Qué le falta? Some or any? I don't have. Any. Thank any. you very much. Exactly. This is correct. I don't have any brother. And let's take a look at this one. Tengo algunas hermanas. I have. ¿Qué le falta? What is missing here? Some. All right, thank you very much. I have some, some sisters. Perfect. Sister. That's okay. So I don't have any brother and I have some sisters. All right. So es la diferencia con any y con some. Are we okay? Okay. Perfect, teacher. Nice. It's I'm happy clear. to hear that. Okay. It's really clear. So Vilma, Jocelyn, Mayra, eh, Miss Castillo, uh, Mr. Pineda. Is everything good? Are we good? Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, nice. That is great. Okay, everybody. So thank you very much for uh, joining the class. Okay. I'm happy. Uh, everything is clear. And los espero el día de mañana. I really hope you can join us tomorrow. And uh, a Please, sigamos avanzando con la plataforma, right? Let's continue working with that, all right? So, thank everybody, you, teacher. thank you See very you much. Tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank Bless you, teacher. You. Okay. You're welcome. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Teacher. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good, good night, night, my sister, my brother.